what receptor does the antimetic that can cause extrapyramidal symptoms act on? Another hint is that this antimetic can also be used to treat diabetic gastroparesis. So those receptors are central and peripheral dopamine receptors. The antimetic that I'm referring to is metoclopramide. And on the USMLE, you can see commonly related to indications for antimetics or gastroparesis, as well as the side effect of causing extrapyramidal side effects. So just remember that drugs that are dopamine receptor antagonists, such as metoclopramide, they can cause extrapyramidal side effects. What condition can saw palmetto, ginseng, ginkgo biloba, and black cohash cause? Increased bleeding. What antibiotic can potentiate effects of sulfonylureas and lead to hypoglycemia? Bactrim or trimethoprim. What drug can cause peripheral neuropathy, pulmonary fibrosis, and hypothyroidism? Amiodarone. So, of course, if you see all of these signs of peripheral neuropathy, pulmonary fibrosis, and hypothyroidism, you'd be considering amiodarone adverse side effects. But let's say that a patient only had pulmonary fibrosis due to a drug. Other drugs that you can suspect are bleomycin, busulfan, and methotrexate. What is the treatment of choice of a patient with a history of diabetes, complete occlusion of the air canal, and periauricular erythema, fever, and lymphadenopathy? Systemic antibiotics and debridement if necessary. What is the treatment of choice of a patient with postprandial hypotension? Avoid sudden standing after meals, avoid alcohol, low carb meals, and increase water intake. What is the treatment of choice of a neonate suspected to have meningitis? Ampicillin and gentamicin. So remember that these two antibiotics are given to cover both E. coli and group B strep. What is the treatment of choice of rhinitis medicamentosa? Intranasal fluticasone. What is the treatment of choice of cratocap? Apply a topical emollient and gently brush the area. So cratocap is also known as a subtype of seborrheic dermatitis. Um, it's typically seen in infants as well as adults. It's described as having a scaly, greasy appearance. What is the first line treatment of vaginal dryness in menopause? moisturizers and lubricants and the second line treatment is vaginal estrogen so vaginal estrogen is contraindicated in patients with a history of estrogen responsive malignancies what is the best next step in a 54 year old woman whose pap smear reveals benign appearing endometrial cells An endometrial biopsy. So if you hear a description of glandular cells being seen on pap smear of a woman older than 50, then the best next step would be an endometrial biopsy. What is the drug of choice for urge incontinence? Oxybutynin. So in urge incontinence, there is a hypertonic detrusor muscle which leads to an overactive bladder. So to treat these patients, the first line is of course behavioral changes such as 
bladder training exercises or time voiding. But if that fails, then we can move on to drugs such as oxybutynin. What can cause a stillbirth at 20 to 27 weeks gestation? Infection and maternal medical conditions. What can cause a stillbirth after 28 weeks gestation? Placental insufficiency and cord events. What is the treatment of choice for a child that has been exposed to pertussis? Azithromycin. So macrolides such as azithromycin are used for pertussis treatment and for prophylactic treatment for close contacts. What is the next best step for a child with a history of a head trauma, GCSL15, and abnormal behavior? Observe the patient for four to six hours or do a non-contrast CT. So hopefully you won't see both options in a question stem. So whichever one you do choose, then that's the answer. More than likely it would be to observe for four to six hours. Should sunscreen be used in an infant less than six months old? No. So for an infant that is six or less than six months old, you should typically just avoid the sun during peak times and use protective clothing. What measures can elderly patients with urinary incontinence take if they cannot make lifestyle modifications or use medications? The use of incontinence garments, local skincare, scheduled voiding, and a bedside pen. What is the first line treatment for juvenile myoclonic epilepsy? Valproic acid. A high yield fact that you must know about valproic acid is that it is the most dangerous anti epileptic in pregnant women because it has the highest risk of neural tube defects. So, valproic acid is a teratogen and it is also hepatotoxic. What is the treatment of choice for traveler's diarrhea in kids? And that's the macrolide azithromycin. What are some red flag signs of irritable bowel syndrome? Rectal bleeding, worsening abdominal pain, nocturnal abdominal pain, weight loss, and abnormal lab results. What screening test should be done prior to testosterone therapy? Prostate cancer, hematocrit levels, screen for obstructive sleep apnea, and heart failure. What is the treatment of choice of nosebleeds in pregnancy? nasal saline spray. They can also use petroleum jelly and cell mouth exercise to cause vasoconstriction as well. So nosebleeds are common in pregnancy due to the effects of progesterone on the nasal mucosa and also due to altered sensitivity to allergens during pregnancy. What antihypertensive can cause hypoglycemia, bradycardia, hypotension, bronchospasms, and heart block. Beta blocker toxicity. What drug can cause hypotension, hyperkalemia, and scooped ST segments on EKG? Digoxin toxicity. So bonus question is, what electrolyte disturbance can predispose a patient to digoxin toxicity? And that is hypokalemia. 
So hypokalemia can predispose a patient to digoxin toxicity and an adverse effect of digoxin is hyperkalemia. So that can be quite confusing for the hypokalemia, the hyperkalemia. So make sure that you take a note of that so you don't get it confused on exam day. What asthma medication can be associated with hoarseness and laryngitis? Inhaled corticosteroids. How often should patients with Down syndrome be screened for hypothyroidism? At six months, 12 months, and then annually. What is the most common tachyarrhythmia in sick sinus syndrome? Atrial fibrillation. What dermatologic condition is caused by the pox virus? Molluscum contagiosum. How can malaria rubra be treated? With a cool environment and light, loose-fitting clothing. So malaria rubra is also called a heat rash. And this occurs due to the sweat glands not being fully developed. So sweat accumulates and obstructs the eccrine sweat glands, leading to erythematous papular rash. And this can be itchy and painful. What test should be done in a child with a BMI greater than 95%? A lipid panel. What is the treatment of choice for onychomycosis? Terbinafine for 12 weeks. What is the most common cause of hirsutism in women? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Another bonus question is, what is the most common cause of infertility in women? Ovulatory dysfunction that can also be seen in PCOS. What is the treatment of choice for Bartonella? Azithromycin. You can also use doxycycline. What thyroid changes occur in pregnancy? Decrease TSH due to beta HCG. When are hiccups considered to be intractable? That's when a patient has hiccups for more than one month. So, intractable hiccups can indicate serious underlying disorders that will require further evaluation, such as a phrenic or vagal nerve irritation, a CNS issue such as AV malformations, a cardiac disorder, or an upper GI disorder. So, you need to do a thorough physical exam and basic lab studies in patients with intractable hiccups. But if a patient has hiccups for more than 48 hours, but less than one month, then these are considered to be persistent hiccups and don't necessarily require all of those um, treatments or tests that I mentioned before. What cholesterol medication may have been shown to increase the risk of new onset diabetes? statins. Injury of what nerve can cause postpartum urinary retention? Pedental nerve injury. Injury of what nerve can cause decreased sensation at the upper lateral thigh in a pregnant woman? Injury of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. What is the treatment of choice for moderate to severe croup with strider at rest? 
steroids and nebulize epinephrine. What is the treatment of choice for depression that does not have sexual side effects? Mirtazapine. What is the first line treatment for nausea and vomiting in pregnancy? Dietary modification. And if that doesn't work, then you can try doxylamine and vitamin B6. What antimitotic agent can be used to treat anogenital warts? Podophyllin. What instructions can be given to a patient for maximum iron absorption? To take the iron with a citrus juice on an empty stomach without any antacids or acid blocking drugs. What is the treatment of choice for exercise induced urticaria? A second generation H1 blocker. What is the treatment of choice for oral thrush in infants? Topical nystatin. What is the daily calcium requirement for adolescents? 1,300 milligrams. What drugs can cause gynecomastia? chronic marijuana use, alcohol, amphetamines, and these other drugs. What drug can be used for preeclampsia prevention? Low dose aspirin. How long after delivery can preeclampsia present? Up to six weeks after delivery.